Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are looking at the best visual note-taking apps for 2024 and I just want to start off with getting two out of the way and the first one is Obsidian and the second one is Logsec. So both of these have a canvas feature which is really really good. I won't go too much into them simply because they are quite known products but we will jump into the first one called Milanote and Milanote is more of a project management app but it can be used as a second brain. This is for visual thinkers out there, people who like to see things visually, who like to have a lot of pictures and especially people who work in design. I have been considering adding Milanote to my workflow because I work in design and I tend to to not save enough pictures to my second brain. So every time I am working on a new design, I have to come up with a whole nother idea, which isn't too good. But uh, it is a great looking app. It looks really beautiful and it is great for visualizing your different projects, ideas, and even notes. You can add a lot of different things into here. So this one is called Milanote and it is quite known. So the next app we got is uh, Heptabase and Heptabase is an app I actually use quite regularly. It is a mind mapping app with different note cards and you can connect these note cards together. It has backlinking, it has databases and it has tags so it probably has everything you need for uh, getting a sec or building a second brain. It even has a Readwise integration for those of you using Readwise. Uh, it is a fairly new app but it does a lot of things quite well and it is an app I have loved uh, and it is great for con contextualizing different ideas. So that is Heptabase and the next one is actually quite similar. So this one is actually called um, Squintle and it is quite similar with uh, 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 infinite canvas and different cards on top of that infinite canvas. So very similar to something like Heptabase, it works with uh, it works with pictures as well. There are a lot of great features to this. They have a My Desk View, which can work for your daily to-dos, tasks, and so on. I actually have an invite code, which I will leave down below for Scrintle. It is still in early access, but it is a beautiful looking app where you can add different cards on an infinite canvas and build yourself a lot of whiteboards, and you can have whiteboards within whiteboards and so on. So this is actually a great alternative to something like Heptabase. It doesn't have things like tasks or databases, which I know a lot of people might prefer. So that's when Scrintle is a great option. The next app I am going to touch on is, or this is actually the last app, it is called um, Latex or Latex. It is another beautiful looking, uh, beautiful look app it has whiteboarding as well as as well as pages and you can actually change things in here and it will appear in your regular view so this is great for outlining different projects ideas and it does the same as it does the same as Obsidian Canvas would do, but it has a pricing plan, and the pricing plan for the monthly is $3.99 and $20.99 for the yearly plan. And what you get with those plans is that you get unlimited documents, unlimited uh, knowledge graph nodes, export to TXT and uh, MD, export to PDF doc, and you get goal and statistics and flashcard statistics as well. So it is looking like a really fun app. I do not enjoy the fact that they don't have their pricing plan on their website, but they have it in their app. Uh, 
Anyways, it is a beautiful looking app and it does mind mapping quite well and you have several different ways to see your mind map so you could actually see it like this where you could see the things that actually is written inside of your mind map. So Latex is the last uh, app I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I am a little bit sick. I'm out with a cold, so it might take a few hours or even days for me to answer. But leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I feel better. Thank you so much for watching today's video.